Thank you for joining me on my learning journey. Today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on how the game is started, you know how you decide who plays first, and also some basic placement rules. So the way the game is started is, of course, the materials are distributed and you should have 25 chips of each color. Um, and also have a pencil and paper with you for calculation. And there's also a scoring flag card. So you don't use the, the regular purple flag card for this. You use a sheet of paper and you pass that back and forth. It's a sheet of paper that'll say scoring flag card and that's how you keep track of the scores and the dice values for that game. And so each player rolls a die to begin the game. And the player with the lower value begins. So in this case, red would begin, because let's just say red is the one who threw the red die. So they would begin the game. So how do we place um, a chip? Because we went over how our goal is to get five in a row or to get a running score of zero. And we're not going to go over scoring today. We're going to go over that in a different video, but I do want to go over placement. So let's say a player throws a six, a three, and a three. How do they place a chip based on that? So you would have to, another, one thing to know is you do have to write down your dice values on your flag card as well as the score you get. And again, we'll be talking about that later. Um, but you also have to announce the equation and place a chip somewhere. So what equation am I talking about? That is how you place your chip. So for example, Using any of the four basic operations, you can do whole number arithmetic with these three dies. So you can say six plus three plus three is 12, and you could place uh, a 12. You could place it on 12. Now what's another option we could do? You could also say six times three um, let's just say, yeah, six times three plus three, which would be 18 plus three, so 21. And your, your thing does have to follow, um, order of operations. And if, if you have parentheses on something, like if you were to say six times, you know, three plus three, the way you would announce it is you could say three plus three is six and six times six is 36. And that would be an accurate way to announce your equation. And then you would pass the scoring, once you've written down your dice values and your score, you would pass the scoring flag card to your opponent. So another thing is no negative values, because like I said, it's whole number arithmetic. So negative numbers are not whole numbers. Um, they're integers, but not whole numbers. So you cannot use negative values. And also, as I said, you cannot say like three by six is equal to one half, or that's that's a bad example. Let's just say, um, imagine that this was not a three. Let's just say it was a two. Three by six is equal to one half. I mean, yeah, three by six is equal to one half, and one half times two is equal to one. That is not allowed in Contig 60. So that's it for this learning. Thank you for joining me. I'll really appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, and further suggestions for additional learnings below. I'll see you in the next video.